preserved and salt. Some of it we ate, and some we exchanged with traders for other things like tea and rice. Most of our homes were Irish, made of date palm sticks and mats, although some were built with materials from the seashore, coral stone and lime cement. The walls reflected the heat of the sun. Inside, the room stayed cooler in the midday heat. Camels hold a special place in our hearts. We honor these loyal and noble creatures which can endure the blazing desert heat for two without two. These camels have been loaded with dates, dry fish, household goods and food. They used to cover huge distances to reach the oases inland at Liwa and the land, along routes that camels have traveled for generations. Camel trains carried wood, charcoal, food and fodder back and forth between the coast and the inland oases, bringing much needed supplies. They also transported all families every day from the coast to the oases to escape the worst of the summer humidity. This is what makes camels happy. In the desert, they can smell water from many miles. This oasis is fed by cool underground springs and a network of farages, man-made channels which bring water from the mountains. Here, we produce dates, cereals, vegetables, fruit and fruit. It's a kind of paradise, cool and tranquil. At night, the birds settle in the safety of the trees and you have to keep a watchful eye for the snakes and scorpions. The camel raising beds were nomadic during the months of good grazing and would settle around oasis wells in the summer. Many would live in traditional desert tents made of woven cloth. These were furnished with rocks and divided into separate quarters for men and women. Here, in the food preparation area, Women with cauldrons and bread making pans to make the family meal. Next door, in the majlis, the men's quarters, the men would meet in the evening to talk and drink coffee. Our ancestors began to settle here more than 5,000 years ago and they made the most of the world around them. 
copper mine was one of the earliest industries here. Miners hammered away at rocks with handmade tools to uncover seams of copper ore in the mountains. Sometimes they would use fire to crack the rock face. It was a dark, dangerous place to work. Once mined, the copper ore was heated to separate the copper from the ore. A fully trained men operated drills, pumps, and other shopping malls, markets, hotels, a fantastic waterfront, beautiful mosques, magnificent architects. In little over a generation, Abu Dhabi has been transformed into one of the great trading and business centers of the world. This is now a private cosmopolitan city with a proud heritage rooted in the traditions and values of its desert and sea going origins. Isn't it amazing how much everything has changed in less than a single lifetime?